Hello again, welcome back to Silent Hill 3. Right, in the search for Leonard, we've, um, well, let's take a look. It seems we've walked into the other world. We've got to stop doing that. We really have to stop doing that. Right, well, Leonard is probably here somewhere, so we've got to find him. Let's try S2 and S1. So, uh, uh, did I just walk past both the doors? Oh, they weren't there. Yeah, some of the doors just aren't there anymore. What about examining room 4 behind me? This one. Yep, that works. Okay. What's going on here? There's a bucket of blood, is that? Oh, hello. Yes, I believe it is. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this, and for what? It looks like a full-out bloodletting. And he's still dripping. Let's just, uh, let's help him out, shall we? No? I can't help? That's a shame. Right, uh, that, that's it for this room then, I think? Wait, wait, is there actually, uh... Okay, there's actually a little circle in the examining room, so I'm... I'm gonna need to do something with that. But I'm not really sure what yet. Let's check out the restroom and the day room and all that. Out we go. So, here we are. Not happening. Right, the day room! Okay. I'm in. I am in the day room. About time. I'm pretty sure this wasn't what it was meant to look like originally. Go around this side. Could I go through this door, possibly? That is affirmative. Uh, okay, we got stuff out here. Oh! Oh, hello again! Oh, you're covered in blood this time. Whoa, shit. Through here, through here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh... Up we go, and into here, please. Right. Okay. It's this. Oh. <laughs> this is my favorite room of the game. I love this. Uh, I should tell you right now, I'm dead. I'm dead. But let's just watch this. Look in the mirror. Look at everything happening behind me. Only it isn't happening behind me. Oh, shit. Okay, uh, <laughs> trying to shake this off. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, good, it's spreading on this side. Excellent. Yep, it's not even on the reflection anymore. It's just on me and in this room. That's cool. The door won't open. I can't even make it budge. What the hell, indeed? Now, as soon as you enter this room, there is no escape. So this is actually going to be a death for me, but it's going to be one hell of a death, I'll tell you that much. This took me by such a surprise the first time. It, it's still kind of cool, honestly. Oh, that's even better. Look, the reflection's just stopped. Oh, shit. Right, that... <laughs> I don't know what else to say, to be honest. Oh, I can leave! I can leave! I can leave! I could leave. I didn't think I could leave. It's unlocked. Sure. Wait, did I just... Oh shit, you can actually make it out of the storeroom. I'm pretty sure the door... I honestly thought the door would never open again. I thought that was an ensured death. I think if you do stay in there long enough, uh, whatever was spreading on your body does actually kill you, but I avoided it this time. Okay, I'm not dead. That's good. Um, right. What about the stairwell? What about the stairwell? I can't go to the, uh, blah, 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 the special treatment room, but... Here? No. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Screw the storeroom, there's nothing in There's nothing in there for me. So, uh, elevator. It's the only way. It is the only way, and it does work. Oh, right. Yep. Do like to get trapped in these elevators, apparently. Okay. So, this... <laughs> 3, 2, 1... Basement 1, 2, and 3 as well. Right. Okay, so I'm on 3 now, so... Usually go from bottom to top. Let's go from top to bottom. So let's go down to 2. Alright. Cool. I should just check, actually. Did I take any damage in that room? Because there was a lot of shit going on. I mean, I have taken damage. I don't know if the room had anything to do with it. I got knocked down a couple of times. Back on dark blue. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see. Okay, uh... So. 
Let's go check out this day room. Maybe I can enter this one as well. Or not, because the door doesn't exist anymore. And neither does the one on the corner, so we can forget about that. Um, another storeroom? Not going to happen this time. What is going on over there? It's like, it's like there's something burning just on the other side of that wall, and I can just about see through it. It's really weird. Really weird effect. Alright. Another phone call. Coming from a locker. This one? Stanley, is this you? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear. Who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday. Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley, either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. And I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. <laughs> of all the things brought up in that conversation, that's the bit you have a problem with. <laughs> What's going on? <coughs> There's nothing coming from the receiver. Well, duh, the phone's not connected. But what about that phone call? Yeah, what about that phone call? What the hell was that about? Was that was that Leonard? It wasn't Stanley. I think it was Leonard. Who the fuck was that? Right, okay, let's try the women's locker room now, I think. That was twisted. Oh. Oh, brilliant. Okay. We're in. We're in. We're in. What's this? Aha, hold on, hold on. There is... Oh no, that wasn't what I was looking at. I've got a plastic bag. I was looking at the health drink. A plastic bag. What is this... Hi there! Looks like you got wrapped up in a sack! Uh, I don't know if I want to get near that, to be honest. Oh. Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. No, I shouldn't. I'm just going to back away slowly. I've got a plastic bag. And you know what? I can't help but think I need to go and uh, fill that with blood. It was the right sort of shape and size for a blood bag, don't you think? Okay. Did I just hear a baby crying? Just very faintly, whatever. I can't go through there, so... Uh, I think I'm going back up to the third floor, to be honest. I think, I, I genuinely think I have to fill that with blood. Come on, don't trip me up. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Could have been much worse. Oh, why does that still startle me? I know it's going to happen. Number three, please. Okay, around here. Oh, no, oh, it was only a matter of time. I still think it's probably worth trying to run around these guys rather than kill them. 
at least at the moment. I don't know. Uh, was it this room? Yes, it was. Now, is my logic correct? This does look like an empty blood bag. Totally ordinary transparent plastic bag. Use. It's working. I put blood in the plastic bag. So I've got a blood bag, essentially. Or a plastic bag with blood. Why? I'm not sure. It's not the first time in the Silent Hill game that I've been walking around with a bag of blood. Um, in Silent Hill 1, I had to throw one at the snakes coming out of the wall. There's bait, so I could get get the little, uh, the little plaque off the wall. But this time, I'm not so sure. Right, so the third floor... Third floor's done. Second floor is also done. There's nothing more I can do, so... First floor? And then we... I guess we work on the basements. We've only got one here, but apparently there's three. Come on, trying to dodge them. Try <laughs> trying to dodge them pretty unsuccessfully as well. And they are pretty fucking hard to dodge when there's three of them. Okay, let's go down. Come on, let's go down. Let's do... Number one. Okay, okay. Awesome. Alright. So. Okay, there's so many rooms down here. I might as well just start off with what I'm close to. Uh huh. They're all gonna be broken. They're just I just know they're all gonna be broken. Front door? Wow, that was that was gonna be unlikely, but oh, oh okay. I'm in I'm in the reception area now, I think. What's in the reception area? Come on. Is there anything? What's through here? There's got to be something. There's got to be a reason I can go in here. Seriously, there isn't? It's just the reception office. Okay, well let's let's try the pharmacy in the storeroom over there. And try and dodge the nurses. Oh, they are just the most annoying things in the entire game. Uh, oh, great. Blocked off. Brilliant. Oh, shit. I'm starting to regret my decision to not kill them. Um, another one. Can't hurt, can it? Oh, I do insist on running into them. Alright, this works. And there's a save point, so this should be a safe area, right? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What's going on? There is something here. What's in the drawer? Oh, I can't actually access the drawer, but what's what's on the table? There's a memo. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have res religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumour has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. P.S. It looks like the rumour is true, according to the head nurse. I do think he's a good person otherwise, though. Easy to deal with. Room 312, eh? I wonder who they're talking about. Right, okay, uh, we got something here. Oh, right, apple. Yep, nice. Go through here. Not gonna happen. Okay, so that's blocked off, so I've got to go all the way around and I suppose try the doctor's lounge now. Hmm. Place your bets, am I going to get tripped up again? It's only a matter of time. It is only a matter of time. Don't be telling that. Oh! Oh shit, she's got a gun. I'm going to kill her. If I can. Just keep sort of stunning her. Yeah, she's on the floor. I don't want to get shot by one of them. That would, that would half my HP quite, you know, quite quickly, so. This way. Alright. Okay. I'm in, well, I'm in the day room now, aren't I? Yeah. Oh, kind of. Yeah, the wall's been demolished to make way for this. What the hell is going on? There's something down here. Is this another little story? Kind of looks like it. The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight. As a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal, I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Is that Leonard who wrote this? Yeah, okay, who wrote this? Some twisted individual? Yeah. I see this and I want to ask him, so you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. 
I think that maybe Leonard wrote that. I'm not sure though. I know he's he's got a seal. So there's that connection. Let's get out of here. Uh, in here? Nope. Not gonna happen. Lock is broken. Lock. It's just locked. Okay, it can be unlocked then. I need a key. I need a key. Right, back around here. I hate that sound. Other side the wall. Oh, oh shit. Okay. That's it. I can't jump that void. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Back to the elevator. Back to the elevator. Come on. Here we go. Okay. Right, now we're sort of stepping into the uh, the very unknown, because we're going to basement 1, 2, 3. And we've only got one basement on the map, so... Well, let's try it. Let's try basement 1. Okay. Okay, we're not going to basement 1. 2. Or 2. We are going to basement 3, though. The uh, The deepest part of the hospital. Okay. Alright, so, do I have a map of this area? Oh, I do! But it, hmm, it's telling me I'm on the third floor or something, I don't... No, it, it doesn't have a clue where I am. Brilliant, okay. Oh, great, it's like a little, little morgue down here. Wait, zero? Does that, does that mean anything? Hang on, oh, hang on, there's a padlock here. Okay, I need a four-digit code. I bet that zero is something to do with it, you know. Um, let's have a look. Do the others have... Oh, yeah, they do. Yeah, they both do, actually. So there's a five, a nine, and a zero. Is there another one? There is. A seven. So... Oh. Is that guy still alive? I can't examine it. He's not anymore. Okay, uh... Right, so we got a seven, we got we got a five and a nine and a zero, but which order do they go in? Or maybe I don't even use them. Maybe I use the beds that aren't taken, like the two and the six. Have we got four of them as well? Four a No we got nah, there's too many of them. So it's seven, five, nine. Let's try seven, five, nine, zero. I don't know which order I'd have to go in, or is it zero, zero, nine, five, seven? Do it from some do it from left to right, is that how I meant to do it? I don't know. Let's just play around with it. Let's just say seven five nine zero to start with. Seven five nine zero. Come on, here we go. Okay. Seven five nine zero is not gonna work. What about if we do it the other way round? So uh it was like I guess seven here or maybe uh, yeah, zero, nine, five, nope, um, I've got the right numbers here, I just need to figure out the order, there's not that many combinations, what about if we do it in, uh, in a particular order, let's start at the bottom and work up, for instance, so, uh, zero, five, seven, nine, Nope. What about the other way? Nine, seven, five, zero. Yes, yes! It did it, it did it. Okay, it was only a matter of time, really. So what we got in here? Not a body, but a key. A cremated key. And there's only one door I can think of that was locked. That's the door on the first floor. Let me just have a look. They're all either blo uh, blocked off or open to me on these two, I think. So, yeah. Yeah, it's got to be the day room on the first floor. Let's do it. Let's go. All right. I was expecting a really long sort of exploration session down there, to be honest. But no, if I can only... If there's only one room out of those three floors that I can access, makes it a lot easier. I'll be stumped if this doesn't unlock the door, though, honestly. Oh, shit. Here we go. It should be this one on the right. Yep, use the chromatic key. Go. Alright, I'm in. I'm on the other side now. 
Oh, hi, nurse. At least you haven't got a gun. Oh, come on. Yeah, there you go. Let's see if I can sort of stun lock her, for lack of a better word. Right. Give her a couple of kicks to the head. She should be dead now. She's not getting up. Okay, let's go. Uh, through through this door then. Oh bloody hell! Uh, this way. No. Nope. Oh god. Work is broken. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. This way. It was a happy first birthday. Oh, oh blimey. Okay. This way. Oh, oh shit. Oh my. Um. There's three in here. Let's heal up. And let's just start attacking, I guess. Come on. Can you do two at once? Oh, you can. Oh, can I do three at once? Come on. Yeah. Let's do it. They have a better reach, though. Although I do have that stabbing attack, don't I? There you go. Get on the floor. Stay down there, you bitch. What about you? Stop wriggling. You're dead. Okay. Right. Nothing. Absolute silence. <laughs> what are you looking at, Heather? Oh, what is that sound? I'm going to take the health drinks, though. I don't give a fuck. What is she looking at? Oh, there's a, there's a little bit of paper down here, actually. Somewhere there. Yeah. There's something on the ground. Is this a birthday card? I did see, like, happy first birthday just outside. Although this one says happy 38th birthday. And the guy on the phone said it was 31st and then the 24th. I'm getting awfully confused here. 14 plus 7 plus 17 is 38. Okay, I think I know what this means. I think Alessa was 14, Cheryl was 7, Heather's now 17. Is that what he's talking about? But it's not my birthday. Maybe it was Alessa's birthday today. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it doesn't mean anything. It probably does. Okay, that's creepy as fuck. Right, let's get out of this room. Let's go straight across to examining uh, room 2. Or not. Or not. Oh, shit. There's always more. Has she got a gun? Oh, shit, she's got a gun. Okay, I'm not even going to stick around. Just going to dodge and weave, you know? And head into this room. It's got a save point. I like that. C2 and C3 cannot be accessed. But C4? C4's cool. C4's cool. This is weird. There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher. This is more like an altar of some sort. Lit candles, a knife, and... Is that blood I smell? Did they worship that picture? Or something in the picture? Maybe, 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 maybe. There is a book here. Let's have a little read. The title is Lost Memories. Oh, okay. One characteristic, mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age, is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, Drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart, to praise and to show loyalty unto God. In another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religion's practice nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god, even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. Okay, if there's one thing I understood from all of that is that I think I need to put the blood on the altar here. It makes sense, right? It just makes sense. Also, maybe need to take a couple of health drinks. Just keep myself topped up, you know? I'm just addicted at this point. But, uh, the blood. There must have been a reason I picked this up. Let's give it a go. Yes.
what? There was, a, there was a deceptively large amount of blood in that bag, but I don't remember putting a ladder in there. Is... Uh, that's my way out as well, I'm... Alright, man. Uh, there's no going back now. I've got to go down. I guess down into into B1. Wow. Alright, well, uh... That was fun. <laughs> oh, dear. tried to trick me so you can run off with my seal, eh? Heretic! You plan to destroy God! I told you I wasn't trying to trick anyone. What is this seal thing anyway? Don't play innocent. You can't fool me anymore. The seal is mine! I was appointed by God to be its guardian! Well, I guess you're not a person anyway. <laughs> oh shit! Okay, I love how casual she is about it. For some reason she's still, like, popping jokes here and there. This is crazy. Ah, uh, right, okay. What do I want to do? I want to reload weapons, I know that. Submachine gun? Might be worth giving it a go. I want to side with the shotgun though, to be honest. How many, how many bullets have I got? 29, okay, not bad. 35. Um, yes, yes, I think we're gonna go with a shotgun. Uh, probably would be a good, a uh, good idea if I stayed away from that thing. Okay, shotgun seems to be doing it. Okay, whoa, you can very faintly see him in the water. I gotta say, this is a lot, a lot different to what, uh, what Leonard looks like in the film. But I think at this point that the film should just be ignored, really. Okay. Managed to dodge that one. I, I don't really have any tactics here. It's just sort of like run around and shoot him when I can. And try not to get pulled under under the water. Which I think he can pros possibly do. It's really quite difficult to see him, honestly. He's around here somewhere, though. Heather keeps looking. Aha, there he is. Aha, ha, ha. 
Oh, yeah, there you go. Can I give him a kick? I can't. No, he's, he's, he's back on his feet, I was going to say. He's back on his arms. Sort of dragging himself along. He doesn't seem to have feet, actually. It's weird. Here we go. Yes. I'm, I must be doing damage to it. Absolutely must be. Right. Reload. Hasn't actually given me any trouble so far. I'm wondering, though, do I have to sort of set him up to to fall into that, that grinder back there? Is that how I finish him off? Oh, shit. Okay. That probably hurt quite a lot. There we go. He's going in the right direction for the grinder. Give him a kick. Yes. Give him another kick. Am I finishing him off? He can't be dead yet, surely. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to kill him, I'll tell you that much. Let me get out of your way, Leonard. There's still time to run. You don't have to do this. I thought you were cool, man. We're going to go against Claudia together. By the way, how the hell did you ring me from here? It's one of those questions I don't think is ever going to be answered. Oh, he's up again. He's up. I want to get a little bit closer so the spread of the shotgun's all right. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get back up. Get back up right now. Here we go. There we go. Shoot him right back down again. Wasn't entirely sure on the ammo situation, so I thought I'd better just reload. I seem to remember this boss fight being a lot harder than it actually is. Unless there's like a phase two. I guess we'll find out in a moment. Here he is again. And there he goes again. Give him a kick. Give him a kick for me. Yeah. Give him another one. Yeah. Oh, probably not a good idea. How are we doing on the old health situation? It's not ideal, but it's not terrible. Uh, let's use a first aid kit. Makes it easier, doesn't it? Get down on the floor there, Leonard. Oh! He's dead. Leonard's not here anymore. I guess I should head back to the motel now. I hope Douglas is okay. Huh? What's this? Well, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was probably the seal that he was talking about. Or a, a talisman, at least. Or maybe the one and the same. Right, okay, so where am I now? Okay, I'm in C4 again. Where I went down the ladder. And we're not in the other world anymore. <laughs> okay. All right, I think we're actually done with the Brookhaven Hospital now, guys. So uh, I think this is probably a good time to end the video. So next time, we're going to be going back to the motel to speak to Douglas. See you then.